Hey everyone, Panda back with you and I am going to be replacing my back mechanical brake with a hydraulic brake. <clears throat> and we're going to see how that works out. I'm not going to mess with the front one because the back hydraulic brake that I bought uh, is set up hopefully with the same type of uh, mounting bracket. Pretty sure it is because it is for a 160 uh, millimeter rotor. Whereas the front one is for 180 rotor and I don't have that, but I'm just going to start the preliminary uh, stuff here right now. What I'm going to try to do is reuse this uh, barrel adjuster right here. That way I don't have to take uh, the piece off the bottom of the cable. And of course, in theory, this should fit back into the uh, brand new one. And if it doesn't, well, then I'll just have to take the end cap off here and use all that gear anyways. But all right, enough said. Let's go ahead. First step. There we go. <clears throat> I want to go ahead and get my cable out of here. Don't take this thing out too far. Just get it out far enough to get your cable out of that. Well, okay, here we go. Don't want to lose any of those small parts. Yeah. I, I like to keep everything kind of in check as I go. Okay, so next step. And make sure you have all your barrel adjusters turned all the way back in, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to slowly unscrew this from here. There we go. The stock piece should, I'm crossing my fingers, it should fit and just replace the uh, one that's on the uh, new hydraulic rear brake. We'll get into that here in just a little bit. So, okay, there we go. Pull this up really carefully. And this piece should come right through the hole here. Yep, it fits. Barely. There we go. Okay. See, that'll make it a lot easier. Then hopefully I can just reuse this piece right here. We'll find out. Yeah, you see, because... With your uh, end cap on, obviously it doesn't fit through there. You'd have to take the end cap off. And if I have to do that, then I will go ahead and uh, just have to buy some new end caps. So, yeah, that's what it is. I'm also going to try to reuse my uh, stock bracket, the mounting bracket right here. Other than that, it will be a pretty quick uh, on and off thing. Hopefully, cross my fingers, guys. So, be back uh, with the next part. Okay guys, so gonna go ahead and start getting our uh, new hydraulic brake installed. This is the uh, spacer for the pads. When you remove this, <clears throat> do not mess with the lever until you have the brake at least installed enough to where the rotor is in between the pads, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, get the stock mechanical brake off first here, find these, and I'm using the, uh, I'm just going to reuse the same uh, bolts that went in there, but there's that, got a spare brake, which is good, <clears throat> excuse me, then we're going to go ahead and remove this, pull straight out very carefully, put it down, and we are going to very carefully guide this baby on here and matches up perfect. 
kind of hold that here. Let's get our, uh, whoops, having some difficulties here. Go figure, right? Okay, the top one is started in. Let's go ahead and start the bottom one in. This way we don't hopefully have a major pain in the ass doing this, right? That'd be horrible. Okay. Now do not tighten these down all the way yet. All right, the reason for that is because we're going to uh, do a brake alignment really quick since we're mounting this baby up fresh. So let's see here. Yeah, see how we're still loose. I'm gonna go just a little tighter. Just a little bit tighter on that one. Let's come down here. I don't expect uh, like major miracles out of this hydraulic brake. I do expect some better braking performance and I definitely expect it to be smoother and quieter than the uh, stock brake. Uh, probably want to loosen up off of that one just a tad bit. Okay, now at this point, what we're going to do is squeeze our lever up. In theory, that should align this unit. We're going to go ahead and tighten this down here. Okay, so, all right. And you know what I'm gonna do here? Uh, this spacer piece here, I'm gonna stick inside of the old brakes right there. So next we're gonna move on to uh, reattaching the cable and getting that all taken care of. Okay guys, so we have our brake thing, hopefully totally centered. Everything is nice and tight and firm. Now remember uh, how I said we were using the existing uh, barrel adjuster, right? So we're gonna go ahead and guide this cable through here. Well, really wacky, I need some room to get this in, but see? It's right down, have a little bit of cable slack. Wanna make sure we have our uh, cable going in down here securely. Need just a little bit more room on that. Well, that's being a donkey to get in there. There she's in there now. Okay, but don't totally tighten that down yet. We wanna, this should thread right back on down here with no issue. That's the hope, right? Look, I'm going to need a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, I knew the, the brake length shouldn't have been a problem with that, so everything looks good there, okay. 
Okay, so pretty much all that's left now is uh, firm the cable really good. Tighten it down. Everything is a uh, five millimeter, by the way. Yep. Okay, so. Looks like everything is good there. Let's give this one more little tightening on that. There we go. Ouch. Okay, so true test. Yeah, let's see how our uh, brake lever does. Yeah, you got good adjustment there, see? Nice and tight right there. So that's my uh, upgrade from mechanical brakes to the hydraulic brakes, guys. And battery's gonna go dead on this soon, so we'll do a ride uh, test. once I get the batteries charged back up. So hope you guys keep safe out there and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.